Hey guys, welcome back here to our South Shields series on Football Manager. In today's episode, we will be taking on Harrogate in the National League. Before we jump into that game though, let's go ahead and switch over to our fixtures and see how we've gotten on since the last time you've seen us. So last episode, we did take on Dover in the league, and we unfortunately lost 1-0 in that game. We followed up that game home against Wickham, where we saw a 2-2 draw take place. A very late goal in the 94th minute saw Wickham steal the draw from us. Very annoying to let a late goal in like that. And then, of course, in classic Mariners fashion, we followed that up with another late goal against Wrexham in the 93rd minute to also get a draw in that game. Unbelievable how we cannot seem to see out games. Um, following that game, we unfortunately lost to Chesterfield home 1-2. to But before we took on Billerike with a 3-0 victory, in this game we saw our formation get a bit of tweaks, which you'll see here in a moment. And we got an impressive 3-0 victory over Bellarique. Goals from Finland, Hagarth, and Carlo Poveda. That was Finland's first goal for the club. Um, took him till October to get that, which is not good enough. And then we unfortunately lost a very close game against Ebsfleet. Ebsfleet are a very good team, so... Um, not too surprised with getting a loss there, unfortunately. was hoping to nick some points off of them, but it was not meant to be. We then played our first FA Cup of the season against Scarborough, and we got a 2-0 victory over them. And then in our last league game, we got a 2-0 victory over Borham Wood. So that leaves us in today's episode against Harrogate. They are sitting in 20th place, so just two points above that relegation zone. So they are one of the bottom teams this season. So hopefully we do get a victory. We are currently sitting in 11th place. Still seven points back from the playoff spot. So we need to start um, getting our form better to rise up the table. And as mentioned, I said that we did some tactical tweaks to our formation. And you can see that we have moved our attacking midfielder and instead replaced that with a defensive midfielder. Um, I wasn't happy with how many sloppy goals we were giving up despite having better possession and better sh um, number of shots. Um, so I switched our deep line playmaker to an advanced playmaker so they will be pushing up kind of filling in that attacking midfield spot more but not constantly just staying up there all the time and the defensive midfield is going to be a ball winning midfielder on support role so they'll be sitting back more but when we do have the ball they'll be pushing up more and yes yeah, so we do have a new <laughs> signing so I signed Alex Kenyon on a free to take over that defensive midfield position that we now have and he is an absolute insane player for us valued at a whopping 160,000 which is way more than any of our players we currently have taking a look at his career stats started off in the lower leagues before making a move up to the national league with Stockport he did impress there so Morkum took him in League 2 where he had some good seasons with them before most recently playing with Grimsby in the League 2 as well. So he drops down to a league below since no one has signed him yet so we were able to persuade him to join our team. He has already made one appearance for us, two assists with an average rating of 7.9. So that is absolutely what we're looking for. And Harrison Devine has recently just come back from that long-term injury. So I'm having him play in some 
um, reserve competitions right now and some friendlies to work his way back into match fitness as he's not ready to take over um, and replace Porter on the bench. So this is the team that we will be playing with today. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, I've really liked the way this formation has played so far. Hopefully that continues today against Harrogate, which is a team we should be beating. But of course, saying that, we're going to pull a Mariners and lose by some stupid goal. And we are off Harrogate. Gets us underway. They are in yellow, and we are in our red kits. Or maroon, probably more accurate. Claret. One of those colors. But early pressure from us, and Poveda pops up with an early goal off of a corner. Harrogate does not do well enough to get it cleared out. We win the ball back. We work it through our players. Webster eventually gets it, finds Poveda, unmarked, and he buries it. All four of his goals have come after this position, or this um, tactical change. Seems to be getting more space now that we have vacated that attacking midfielder that's always up there. So he likes to cut inside, um, and he has more space to do that now. So it's... Oh man, Blair almost gets in a wonder goal there though. But yes, it's it's working wonders for inside forwards. And we are still piling on the pressure here. Sheldon has it out wide. He looked to play it in, but was not able to get it. But Robinson picks the ball up, works it up to Webster now, plays it back to Green, drifting out wide, plays it back to left back Robinson, who whips the ball in, but it's kind of cleared. Poveda picks it up, recycles it to Gamble, who plays it in, and he finds Blair on the back post, who gets his second goal of the season, which puts us up 2-0 in the 15th minute. Harrogate not able to clear the lines once again. Beautiful ball by Gamble, and Blair has a pretty easy finish, and we are up 2-0. Gonna give the guys some praise out there, which they did not like, apparently. Free kick now, Paveda with it, and wow, he gets the goal from a dangerous position on the free kick. Goalkeeper, not in a good position, was hoping his wall would be able to get it, but Puveda scores anyway over the wall. 3-0 in the first half. Picking up some yellow cards here now, though. We need to stay focused and not do anything silly here. And halftime is upon us. They do have three more shots than us. Only two of them on target, though. And possession is still in our favor, 60 to 40. Very pleasing first half. Keep that up in the second half. And maybe get some more goals. Underway, but the highlight comes to nothing. Tell them to concentrate and stay focused out there. Looking for a counterattack now. Sheldon's running it with the, on the right-hand side. Plays it in to Marley Blair, who gets his second goal of the game. What a lethal counterattack. What a lethal counterattack that was. Sheldon picks the ball up on the right-hand side, goes on a run, waits for his teammates to get up, picks out Blair in the middle, who buries at home. Oh no. Yep, Barrett's going to get his second yellow card of the game, and he is sent off. Mm. Now, you see, I do not know what exactly we should do here. I think I'm going to take Kenyon off, simply 
because he's not fully match fit. I'm not sure how this formation will work. So we're going to revert to our normal formation. And we should be all right. 60th minute. I'm going to switch out Harry Green for James Abraham. Get some fresh legs out in the midfield. That is going to get overrun now. Gamble, please don't give up another red. Ooh, Harrogate had a good opportunity there. Clear it out to the top of the box. But he fires it just wide. And our final substitution, bring on Porter for Poveda on that right hand side. Give Porter that run out and give Poveda a bit of a rest. Sloppy turnover by Robinson. Harrogate looking for the counterattack over the top. And what a save by Flat. One on one with the keeper. You would have put your money on their striker. But Flat comes up with a huge save. Keeps the 4 nil lead. And more importantly, that clean sheet. Now we look to play the ball over the top, but Sheldon knew he wasn't going to get to it, and he lets it. Oh no. Ah, no. I've played the ball over the top. So they then play the ball over the top. Defense completely caught napping. No one runs with their striker who plays it in. Black comes up with the initial save, but the rebound falls to Clark. And just like that, another late goal, another clean sheep thrown away. We need to keep our focus through the whole entire game. They had a free kick in a dangerous position, but Flat picks that up. He kicks it long. The ref blows for full time, and we get a good victory. Fortunately, we let in that goal near the end there. Pleasing performance. Marley Blair, 9.3. Carlo Paveda, 9.4. Two goals for Blair, two goals for Paveda. Brilliant from our two inside forwards there. So let's see where that puts us now in the league table. We have moved up to 10th place sitting on 23 points along with Aldershot, but our goal difference puts us ahead of them. We are now six points back from seventh place, so only two wins away. Still early enough in the season where I'm confident that we will catch up to that playoff spot, but we got to keep up this good run of form, and it's looking like we are doing that with this change of formation. This gave Poveda a bit of praise there. Completely deserved two goals with a 9.4. I'll praise that every single game. He does that for sure. So that is where we will leave today's episode. Not sure where we will come back to next episode. Um, I do want to play quite a bit. Um, you might come back if we have a, uh, a matchup against the top team. If not, we might come back for this FA Trophy first round match. But as always, uh, be sure to hit that like button to support this series and this channel. If you're new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. But until next time, it's been your boy at 147. Yeah.